Hi, I'm Laura Lively. Welcome to you and all of your parts. Today, I want to share a practice with you that I was asked to share this by one of my clients. When I was in training in internal family systems and in quite a few of the books, if you've read any of them, um, they talk about asking a part to step aside, to give you some space, to maybe even go into a green room or some other safe place so the part um, feels comfortable and to allow you access to maybe a different part that you're trying to work with. So I've kind of taken that and I have used that methodology to help when I'm having to do something difficult um, and I might have parts that would be scared if they had to go with me to do that. And so I invite those parts to stay home. Now I'm gonna let that set for a moment. I'm inviting some of my parts to stay home if I have to go do something difficult. And I'm gonna share, I'm gonna walk you through an example of when I use this all the time. And I know the first time I heard this, I remember thinking, how the heck could they stay home if you're actually going somewhere? But it actually works. So let me walk you through. I am one of those folks that uh, if I have to go to the dentist and have to have Novocaine, I have a very visceral reaction to the Novocaine and it, um, my heart races, like it's like an adrenaline hit that the drug causes an adrenaline hit in my body. And it's very unnerving and I, it makes me cry. And I'm like, I, it, I'm crying and I'm shaking and it's, it's not, it's not comfortable. I mean, to heck with the dental work, like the Novocaine shot is the worst part of the, uh, of the entire, and it passes pretty quickly, but honestly, it took me a while to figure out that that's what was going on. So if I have to go to the doctor and I have to have Novocaine, if I know that ahead of time, I start working with my system, my parts before I go to the dentist. And I will say, we have to go to the dentist today. If you don't want to go, you are welcome to stay here. You can stay cuddled up in the bed reading a book. Uh, you can stay in my office. You can do what you like, but you don't have to go. I will go in and take care of this for us. You don't have to go. Now, when I get to the dentist's office, in the parking lot, I will say something similar. Okay, we know we've got to go in. I will take care of this. I know it's scary to some of you. Anybody that doesn't want to go in, you stay here in the car and I will pick you up clearly and take you home with me when we're ready to go. I go inside the dental office. I have to sit and wait in a waiting room. Again, I say to the system, if there's anybody that doesn't want to go into the chair, while I'm having this procedure, you stay here in the waiting room and I will collect you on the way out when we go and get in the car. Strangely enough, this works. So the thing I would mention though is on the way out, I metaphorically collect all the parts. I get in the car, I collect the parts. I get back in my house, I collect the parts and we're good. And I let them know, I let the whole system know, you guys did great. This, the situation hurt and it or was scary, but it's over now. We don't have to even think about it again for another year or whatever the case may be. So I wanted to share that because the client was like, I have never heard anybody get to it to that level of granularity. And she said it was super helpful for her. So I thought I would share with you, you can leave your parts at home. The key is ask them, would they like to stay? And then make sure you collect them later. Now on the flip side, I also tend to take a walk, um, try to take it daily. I will also collect anybody that wants to go on the walk on my way out the door. I'll say, anybody want to go with me? Let's go. Anybody doesn't want to go, feel free to stay here. So that's something else you might try. That's There's a little less like, I don't know, involvement or risk involved with that because there's not going to be some visceral physical reaction to the Novocaine, obviously. But, you know, if parts there are parts that don't like to walk. I do have, I think um, last week we talked about you know, we have parts that want to exercise and parts that don't want to exercise. I totally have those parts. Like, no, forget it. I don't want to go. Fine. Stay here. You stay here. But those of us that want to go for a walk, and it's almost like I can see us in my mind's eye, like me and like a little duck's behind me, all of my parts with me on a walk. So anyway, I am curious to hear what you think about that. Let me know if you give it a shot. Let me know if you, like I did, thought, oh, that sounds crazy. But I hope you enjoyed this practice. Drop me a comment and let me know. Reach out to me at laura at lauralively.com. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss next week's content. And until next time, love to you and all of your parts.